going on and welcome back to What Shall We Do Next. I'm Mike, your host, and I hope you guys are having the best day ever. Before I get started, guys, if you are new here, please subscribe if you haven't already done that. We're on the road to 74,000 subscribers, and I would love you to join me on this journey. So hit subscribe right now and join the fam. And also, guys, go follow me on all my social media. Links are in the description. I have Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and even Snapchat, so go follow me on all of those. And as you guys know, I've recently started a Facebook account, so you can add me on Facebook, and we can be Facebook friends. So go do that. Link is in the description. And finally, be sure to turn on the notification bell right next to the subscribe button. That way you get notified every time I upload a video. Thank you. But once again, I am coming back at you guys with another creepy video. And today we are talking about another scary story. And this scary story is called The Dream. So the story of The Dream is about a girl who has a dream go figure. She has a dream in which she meets a woman with long fingernails, long black hair, and black eyes. But enough of the jibber jabber, let's get right over to the story. The Dream Lexi Morgan had a dream. She was walking up a dark staircase, and when she got to the top, she walked into a bedroom. The bedroom carpet was made up of large squares that looked like trap doors, and each one of the windows was fastened shut with big nails that stuck up out of the wood. In her dream, Lexi went to sleep in the bedroom, but during the night, a woman with a pale face black eyes and long black hair slipped silently into the room. She leaned over the bed and whispered, This is an evil place. Run away while you still can. Then the black haired woman grabbed her arm. Lexi Morgan woke up with a scream and lay awake the rest of the night, shivering and shaking with fear. In the morning, she told her landlady that she had decided not to go to Kingston after all. I, I can't tell you why, she said, but I just can't bring myself to go there. Then why don't you go to Dorset? The landlady asked. It's a pretty town and it isn't too far. So Lexi Morgan went to Dorset. Someone told her that she could find a room in a house at the top of the hill. It was a pleasant looking house and the landlady there, a plump motherly woman, was nice as could be. Let's look at the room, she said. I think you will like it. They walked up a dark, carved staircase, like the one in Lexi's dream. In these old houses, the staircases are all the same, Lexi thought. But when the landlady opened the door to the bedroom, it was the room in her dream, with the same carpet that looked like trap doors, and the same windows fastened with big nails. This is just a coincidence, Lexi told herself. How do you like it? The landlady asked. I'm not sure, Lexi said. Well, take your time, the landlady said. I'll bring up some tea while you think about it. Lexi sat on the bed, staring at the trap doors and the big nails. Soon, there was a knock on the door. It's the landlady with tea, she thought. But it wasn't the landlady. It was the woman with the pale face and the black eyes and long black hair. Lexi Morgan grabbed her things and fled from the house. <laughs> what in the world just happened? So this is a very, very, very weird story. 
almost like it takes some thinking about because the girl had a dream in this house that she had a landlady. She had a dream that, huh? So she had a dream that somebody came into her room, grabbed her arm and said, this is an evil place. Run while you still can, young one. That's just how I imagine she said it. So Lexi probably thought that something was warning her about the house that she was already staying in. So she runs away and goes to a completely different house with a nice woman and a fat house and... I mean, a, a nice house and a fat woman. <laughs> I crack myself up sometimes. So then she's all like, okay, I'm gonna live here. And then she goes inside, she sees the rooms, everything's the same. So basically the dream that was warning her to run away was the dream that led her to the house. What? That is terrifying. My question to all of you guys for question of the day is what do you think this woman was? And I'm not sure if you guys can see by the picture behind me or whatever was on the picture. Uh, but the picture for this story is not exactly what I thought it was going to be, but it's pretty disturbing. It's <laughs> Yeah, guys, my question to all of you for question of the day is what do you think this woman was? This thing that came to her in her dream. Do you think it was a spirit or do you think... Because, I mean, I'm no professional, but this thing right here does not look like a freaking person who's looking out for her it does not look like a guardian angel but let me know in the comment section what you guys think because that is question of the day and as you guys know i've started doing two videos a day morning and night this is the nighttime video so if you guys didn't see the video i posted this morning well early afternoon but you know what i mean and be sure to check that out it will be on an annotation at the very end of my outro you can just click on the previous video it will take you right over to it hopefully you guys agree with me over there it was a little rant that i had about the whole youtube thing all these glitches going on and sub purges and stuff like that and it's kind of like revolving around the PewDiePie video he posted a video talking about it too and that's kind of like my video is kind of like a response video to what PewDiePie had to say so uh yeah be sure to check that out and let me know what you guys think about the whole thing but thank you guys so much for watching I hope you enjoyed this video if you did hit that like button down below if we show some support did I just say four show some support two show some support and let's see if we can go for a trillion likes on this video I would really appreciate that and remember the most important thing of all guys chase your dreams I love you all don't let anybody bring you down. Peace out.